Hello everybody, welcome. Melissa here at TCT Crafts Designs and Decor. I am so excited to have you on our channel today. We are going to be making a rustic winter candlestick arrangement today. I'm super excited. Um, before we jump in and get started, let's go over some of the supplies that we're going to be using. All of the links for these supplies will be dropped down in the description of this video, so you can check out all the links there. Or you can simply scan this QR code. And that'll take you directly to our website where you can get these um, same supplies that we're going to be using today. Okay, so let's go ahead and go over what we're going to be using. We are just going to be using this rustic um, white candlestick. I got this. It was a um, set of three, I believe, from Amazon. And I have just added some of the um, great stuff, gaps and cracks onto the top and let that dry. If you do not want to use the gaps and cracks, you can just add a piece of um, floral foam right to the top and you'll be good to go. We are going to be using our adorable little rustic uh, owl. You will need a uh, little stick or bam bamboo skewer. Uh, I'm just using a little rustic ornament that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. Um, a while back, it's just one I had in my stash, so we're going to throw that in. And as far as greenery goes, we're going to be pulling in this a little bit of this beautiful cypress. Um, so that'll be our snowy piece. And then we just have some of our um, natural pine. We're going to use one of our uh, frosted magnolia stems. And then I am going to go in with a little bit of the, a few of these little branches from this branch stem okay so at the time I am recording this video everything is in stock of course things are selling fast uh, this time of year so make sure you check the links hopefully they'll still be in stock if you want to make this design okay so I think we've gone over everything that you're going to need so I'm going to go ahead and drop you down and we will go ahead and get started okay I did forget to mention in the beginning that we will need to have some moss so that we can moss um, our foam here and in case you are brand new to doing arrangements I wanted to go ahead and just show you how I moss the top um, you don't want to just add a bunch of hot glue and then set your moss down on top um, it will make it I mean not that you can't it will just make it harder as you're trying to put the stems into the foam if it's having to go through dried glue it makes it um, more difficult okay so we are using floral pins. So these are just little U-pins. You can get them on Amazon. You can get them um, at Hobby Lobby, Michaels, any of the craft stores will have them. Um, but I'm just taking my moss and we're just gonna take our little U-pin and just push that right in there. Okay, and we probably don't need quite that much. Give it a haircut here. Okay, I'm just gonna push those through there. We're gonna have all of our greenery and stuff. This just kind of helps it um, hide our mechanics here. Okay, so that's probably pretty good. And then you can just go around and give it a little haircut. It makes a mess unfortunately but one of those necessary evils right okay first thing we're going to do is we're going to add some of our pine now i am going to be using a floral pick machine so i am using my steel picks pick machine okay um if you do not have a pick machine these are a little bit pricey you can just stick them in there. Just makes it a little bit more difficult sometimes. Um, or you can use a wooden pick. So you can use one of these. Let me get a smaller one. So if, let's say you have a stem that didn't really have much of a end on it. You know, you can take and wrap it on a wooden pick. Put you a little bit of moss on there just to hold it and then stick it in there. It's just more work to do it that way. It takes longer. 
So I'm just going to be using my, my pick machine. Okay. Now we're going to start with our height. So I want some height here. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and give this uh, some glue. And I'll switch the views up here and there for you guys. So you can see different angles. Now I got this one up. I want this one to come sort of down. Okay. And I'm just going to put this in right here and give it a bend down. Okay, now I'm going to pause for just a second. I'm going to get picks on all of these just to save time and then we will be right back. Okay, so I have put picks on most everything. So we're just going to go ahead and continue now. So I'm going to get one of our smaller pieces. I'm going to go right here and just sort of give it a bend down. We're just kind of getting our base done right, right now. Giving them a bend. Okay, let's stop there for now until we get our big pieces added. So I've just got a couple pieces. I do want to add a piece of our flocked. So I kept this piece together. We're just going to get this added right back here. Okay, let's get our star added in here. So we are going to take and add him on a little pick, a little skewer. And I want him kind of right in here. I'm just going to go this. He is foam. So I'm just going to push that right up in the foam. Add some glue on there. And then I'll cut this down. It doesn't need that to be that long. careful because the glue is dripping and it just dripped on my fingers. I should have let that dry before I started messing with it. So just a FYI, let your glue dry. Okay, so I think he's pretty good right about there. Okay, I think I'll get our flower added next. So we're going to have this Beautiful little poinsettia right in here. I need to cut the stem down because we're going to have this pretty tight against our arrangement. Let's see if I can get it in here without a pick. We may have to use our scissors here to start us the hole. And then our ornament, I think we're going to have right next to it. Yes. So let me show you what I did on the ornament. Um, I just took one of our floral pins and got it in there. I'm going to add some glue on there and then carefully. Just gonna pin it. Okay. So you can see here we have our ornament. It's tucked next right next to our poinsettia. Or poinsettia. I don't know how you actually say that. Poinsettia, poinsettia. Okay. I'm gonna take a couple of our little um, branches here. We're going to get them added. I did not put a pick on them. I'm just putting them in there. 
as we get taller, it's going to be harder and harder for you guys to see. So let me see if I can raise you up just a little bit. You may not see the, uh, if I take it off of here, it's a little better. All right, I'll do my best, but you may not be able to see the very, very top. Okay, and I'm going to take this one and go right on the other side. And it's sort of at an angle, so they're not like, um, we're not doing, uh, what do you call it, um, tea, or field goal. <laughs> we're not making a field goal with that kid. I can't think of what it's called. So this is one's going this way. This one's kind of going this way. So you guys can see, sort of. Okay. And then I want to take one and I want to sort of go down. Now that's going to be a little bit long, so I'm going to cut this. And that's going to kind of come down right here in the front. Now, I, I took off our leaves from our flower when I originally put it in. So we're going to add them back. Sometimes I find that it's easier to, well, on this one, the leaves were further down the stem and we needed a short stem. But even if they weren't, sometimes I find it easier to add your stems later. You can kind of get them exactly where you want them. So I'm just putting a pick on them. Now for this design, I'm not adding a, uh, a bow. Um, you definitely could. Completely up to you, but I'm not going to add them. Okay, so we have our, we have our two leaves added here that came with our flower. Now we're just gonna start filling in with the rest of our greenery. It's going to be a pretty simple design and not a lot of elements. So I'm going to go right here. Of course, if you wanted to bring in some additional greeneries uh, or berries, I mean, you definitely could. A shorter piece and go right under here. Let me find a shorter piece. There we go. And at the end, if we still see our mechanics, we can add more moss under there, but for now. Okay, let's work on the back. So I'm putting these sort of at a diagonal because we're filling out the back.
We might need another, an extra one of these, but we'll see. Okay, so now let's start filling in with our ciphers. And I'm just sort of going in between our pines. We're going to kind of, what do you call it, surround him with these. Create like a little, then a little cocoon. Beautiful. Okay, now I'm going to start going in between each of the pine pieces that I put in. I'm just going to go in between, wherever there's a pine in between, right in the center. I'm going to do that all the way around, and then we will be back. Okay, so I have gone all the way around and in between each of the pines. I have filled it in with our cypress. Now, we still have a few holes that I want to take care of, so I went ahead and cut up one more of our pine bush here. And we're going to do a little bit of filling in here with a few more pieces of the pine. And then the last thing we're going to do is some, we have some of the pine cones that came from our pine spray. We're going to add some of the pine hose back in and that'll help um, fill in as well. So let me see where I want a few more pieces of this pine and then we're going to add our pine cones. Now you can leave this as sort of airy as you want. If you don't like it as airy, you can definitely go in and fill it with more greenery, but I think it looks really pretty, just kind of nice and airy. We're going to add a few more pieces. I'm going to add one right up, sort of next to Mr. Al here. I'm thinking maybe right, right in there. Just going to hit that with my glue. Okay. Let's see about adding one more of this cypress. Maybe right up in here since we added that pine. Beautiful. All right, let's add a couple of our pine cones back. So when I pull these pine cones off, I have a little bit of a the stem. So I'm just going to take and add a pick on those. And very carefully, so I don't burn myself. We're going to get those little pine cones up in there, and that's going to fill in. So 
some of our holes as well. So I'm just kind of looking to see where we've got some holes. See, I'm just tucking in our little pine cones. Now, sometimes when you get down to the little bitty stems, the pick doesn't always work, which it did not. So we're going to have to take some wire. So you can either take, I've shown in another video, or you can take and add, uh, just get like a, get like a scrap stem and you can just glue it. It's a little time consuming because you kind of got to sit there and hold it. Another way is to just take a piece of brown wire, wrap it through, wrap it through your pine cone, twist, and now you have your little um, wire. You can either wrap it around a wooden pick, or in my case, I'm just going to take and add a add a pick to it. Maybe. All right. And hit it with the glue. So that's not going to come off of there. We're going to put one right here. Be careful with your fingers. I'm getting in a hurry, but let it dry so you don't burn yourself. I'll push that in just a little bit more. There we go. Okay, and I think I want to add another twig now that I'm looking at this. I'm going to get another one of our little twiggy branches. I might add a couple of them. Let's just get two. I think I want one like right here in the front. I'm going to go right underneath our poinsettia, poinsettia, however you say that flower. Okay, and we've got our little twig. If you don't like the twigs, you don't have to use them. I think it gives it some of that little whimsy, plus a little bit more on the rustic that we're looking for. Okay, and I'm gonna go right on this side. I'm just gonna kind of blend that in there. If you don't like the length, if it's too long for you, give it a haircut. But I like it. Okay, now let's see. Let's get it. Let's do a couple more pine cones. So, again, I'm just taking my wire. I'm going to wrap it through the pine cone. Twist. You can either take and wrap this uh, wire onto a pick or onto a stem. Um, I'm just going to use the pick machine and I'm going to glue that. I'm going to, while, while this glue is drying, I'm going to be smart this time. I'm going to wrap two more pine cones. Okay, so I have my, have my pine cones here. They're still a little tacky, but they're enough for me to hold them. I'm just going to go in a couple of the holes I see and add a couple of more of these pine cones. Now I think there's a little bit too much of a hole right here, so I'm going to go in and add another piece of our cypress. Stuck my finger right in there. Yow. Y'all, I have no patience. I get in a hurry. Hence, all the scars 
that I have on my hands and my fingers from the glue burns. Oh, I already glued that one. I don't need to glue it. Well, I, let me add just a tiny bit on the end so it'll stick in our foam. I don't want to get too close to that one. I think I'm going to put one right up. Right underneath the flower. Got one more. Okay. I think we're going to go there. I'm not going to pull it back out, so I'm just going to drop my glue down in there. All right, y'all. Now I want to show you, if you're not a fan of the, of the owl, you can do the same design, but maybe add cardinals. Put it on a little skewer. You could do a cardinal arrangement. Um, anything that's going to be your focal point, it doesn't have to be the owl. Hey y'all, here is our finished design. Our little rustic candlestick arrangement. I think it turned out beautifully. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you are new to our channel, we would love to have you subscribe. Hit that little notification bell. You'll be notified every time we have a new tutorial. And if you're loving all these tutorial tutorials and you want just a little bit more, we do have a exclusive membership group. You can just hit the little join button on our channel homepage and you'll get a couple exclusive tutorials every month. Super low price, um, less than a cup of coffee. We would love to have you guys over there. So again, hope you guys enjoyed. Till next time, bye y'all.